The bulldozer is finally fixed. So this is my dad's first day back in the woods. So the whole fam's up at the log yard except for him today, uh, which is a good thing. We are actually getting water up here at the log yard. Finally, this is going to revolutionize everything up here. We're gonna be able to wash our trucks, uh, water for the mill, no more trying to harvest gutter water. It's gonna be great and we're really excited. So this is, that's what's happening today. Uh, we're running the edger and stickering. We have to cut some more stickers today. So not running the mill today, but it's going to be a pretty productive day nonetheless. So we'll just take some of the flitches and make one by twos out of them and then cut them down to 50 inches on the buck saw. So it turns out that the snow was too heavy for the roof that goes over the mill and so it started really, really sagging. So uh, my grandfather put in temporary supports, which worked really well, except that it meant that then we couldn't cut long logs because uh, they, they ended up being in the way and I'll show you what I mean. You can see we once again have it jacked up here and he's putting in more of a permanent support system for this roof because we don't want it falling on anybody. But you can see it was really sagging. You can even see it now. It really just wants to sag right here when we put on this extension. So these temporary beams worked out pretty good, but we have a couple orders for long, long stuff. So we have to get them out of there so we can cut them. <laughs> this little bugger keeps on going flat. So oh, the whole thing needs replaced, but just blow it up for now. check on the pupples. Pupples. Oh, it's a baby. It's a little sweepy, tiny, tiny baby. Yes. Oh, so cute. Today has been an absolute heat wave. It's 40 degrees out. I could be in short sleeve right now. 